Hello, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, because we're listening for love. Yes, I know these reads are mega, mega late. I was super sick last week. I had something like the flu, <laughs> and I was out for like a whole week. I'm still coughing, still got the still got the little jung jung going on in here. But you know, here we are, and we're gonna get through this read together. I hope you guys are doing super fantabulous. If you're new to my channel, where the heck have you been? This is the place to be. If you like tarot, if you like to have a good time, then this is it, baby. And come follow me on Instagram so you can go live with us on Tuesdays, 5.36 p.m. Central Standard Time. We do free, not free, we do some free readings and then really discounted readings at 11.11 and 22.22. So come hang out with me. And if you're a returning family member, you already know what's up. Big, big hugs, lots and lots of love, high fives, and some damn dirty shoulder rubs. So the way these readings are going to go, we're going to go into a general, a singles, a couples, and an all signs, big baby. And just, just a heads up, y'all. I can, I can, I like to talk. So these might be a little bit long. So if you, you don't like to hear me talk, it's okay. Time stamp that. All right, guys. And we go with it. All right. Okay, let's talk about the energies that have been going on. So on the first, we had the new moon in a Scorpio, and we are using a deck that I am like super in love with, okay? It is called, I gotta give it justice, Loteria Remedios, okay, by Selena Gonzalez. Beautiful, beautiful deck. It, it uses the game that I played growing up called Loteria, which is like what I refer to as the Latino bingo. We played it at everything. We do it all the time. And I even have my students play it too. It's a great game. But every picture represented something. And what she did is she utilized just like her intuitive nature of what it meant to her to kind of use this as a way to offer remedies and an oracle deck and she did an amazing job of it I have to do an unboxing but you receive the new moon in Scorpio energy of La Dama and La Dama is about feminism and being a lady okay she's a lady no. <laughs> anyways but what does being a lady mean to you like have you always had to play a certain role is it time to break that role what does that mean for you is it about you getting dressed up and going out and so only you're gonna know what this is is bringing forth for you but the, the lady is coming in and saying, it is time to put yourself first. It is time to get dressed up, look good, be fly, and let everyone see it. All right, Gemini. Now, on the second, we had Mercury enter into Sagittarius. There was some reckless conversations. People was just talking to talk, baby. Things were coming out, all right? <laughs> just take it easy. On the fourth, Mars moved into Leo, and that energy was about being brave and taking action. And it happens. And the 11th, Venus enters into Capricorn, all right? So love is going to be about practicality. Does it make sense? Do we make sense? What are we? What are we doing here, all right? Also, happy Veterans Day, all right? Veterans Day is very important to me. It's very, very dear to my heart because my father is a veteran. He served in Korea. God bless him. He's an amazing father, an amazing man, and thank you for all that you do. So thank you for all who have served, who are serving, and who are willing to serve, to serve our country and give us our freedoms. Thank you very much for all that you do. Um, and not to mention, it is my Boo Bear's 16th birthday. Yes, it has been a wild weekend, even though we've both been sick. So... Happy birthday to my boo bear. Now, on the 15th, Saturn goes direct, okay? This is an energy that is making sure stability, um, the rules, regulations, things are about to get serious and it's about to happen. We also have the full moon in Taurus, 24 degrees. And for you, you pulled the alacran. Okay, and this is a very interesting energy here. The Alacran is a very interesting energy because it is a very powerful energy. Um, this energy comes forth to kind of tell you like, hey, it's time to move forward. It's time to do what you need to do. It says observe the strengths in nature to appreciate its animal medicine. One odd attribute is the ability to glow in the dark thanks to the substantial light it absorbs during the day. Remember to let your inner glow guide you. 
when surrounded by darkness or confusion. Though small, the scorpion is a formidable defender and carries its babies on its back, enduring the brutal environments. Let that be a reminder that you can survive against all odds. I also feel like there might have been like a lot of things trying to bring you down lately, Gemini, but you're just going to shine bright, shine bright like a diamond <laughs> and just like light the path. All right. Because you boo, you is all that and then some. OK, on the 19th, Pluto enters into Aquarius. Uh, we know Pluto is a big baddie, okay? Being in Aquarius, it's an illumination for what is good for humanity. Pluto is trying to transform the way humanity is seen and being moved. On the 21st, the sun is in Sag, so call up that sexy Sag and let's have a part A, all right? And on the 25th, we have Mercury moving into Sagittarius, um, retrograde. <clears throat> I'm not going to give you the whole rundown. I think there's a lot of conversations about what Mercury retrograde is, but I feel like with it being in Sagittarius, a lot of us may be questioning the way we view our spiritual beliefs and our morals. I also feel like it's going to be a time that we're looking at things in a higher vibration. All right. So Gemini, let's look at what we got for you. We have the second house illuminated for you in the astro cards. This is all about your resources, your finances, your money. You need to pay close attention to that there might also be something that is going to be coming in in the springtime like you're trying to invest and move things now so that by the time spring hits baby you was rolling in that money all right and I also want to say your second house can also lead you to a love situation through a work through a work connection or like walking into somebody's work Una nunca sabe, okay? Always be ready. Always be ready. So, your other cards, which I find very, very beautiful, is the architect. And this is about you rebuilding and creating a good foundation and even building with someone. But going with your feminine role, right? You're like allowing things to happen. You're letting it all come out in a good way. And you're lighting the path on the foundation with the seventh house where you have the um, intricacies and industries. And this is about the foundation. I really feel like you're changing the way you view love. You're changing the way you look at things. And you're open. You're open to new things. And that is a beautiful thing and a beautiful place to be in. And you are a shining light. You're definitely a shining light. Scorpion, Scorpio season could be very important for you. Making a lot of major decisions. This is the part of the reading where we go into a general, a general, and just because I want to tell you this, you could be seeing the number 444 a lot if this message is for you, because there is a lot of fours in this reading so far. Okay, this card wants to come out. Someone's got a confession. Just me. <laughs> what do they got to say? Ah! Pay attention to your health this month. And be patient, okay? Be patient, be patient. And Mercury retrograde is going to be very important for you this month. Also, look at your chart. You might have Mercury retrograde in your chart. And um, if you do, this is actually a good time for you, like a great time for you. Um, there could be some electronic issues, some communication issues. Be aware that people... Um, have a tendency to say things when they're not supposed to or send things on a text message. You know, like when you take that screenshot and you send it to that one person, I'm be like, uh, I just want you to see what you said. You know, I want to make sure you know what you said. And in, in reality, I'm like, oh, shit, I can't believe I sent that. Anyways, let's see what else we got going on. Let's get a little bit deeper here. Let me, my daughter gave me this. It came in her bath bomb. It was the moon. I'm like, oh, you're so sweet. My little one, my little cutie patootie. So I have a 16 year old and I have a nine year old and they are my life. Okay, they keep me very busy. So let's see here, what do we have a confession with? What is our confession? Someone has an addiction. Someone is also very codependent. They're kind of trying to tell you something. All right, what are we issues with health? Um, we need to have better boundaries. We're getting a little too stressed out. Maybe the person who has this issue has really um, overstepped the boundary. And now you're just not dealing with it. Patience wants you to know the fear of intimacy is affecting the relationship. And it's, it's important for you to understand that if someone is constantly running, whether that be you or the person you're involved in, we have to kind of stop and ask ourselves, what are we really chasing? All right, Mercury retrograde. What's up with that? 
go back out, get out there, go date, you know, who cares? It's not like you're going to start a relationship. You're just starting to have fun, all right? You just want to have a good time. All right, let's see what we got going on here. So we have definitely the King of Cups coming in for us. This is someone who wants to offer love, offer a confession. We are completely over something. We are moving on, and it's touching that addiction and confession card. We'll get more on that. Um, there is some communication. I do feel like you are very effectively communicating that whatever has ended, we're not picking that back up. That will not be reopened. <laughs> you are good. Gemini is good here, okay? And then we have the Ace of Pentacles. There's also some form of a contract coming through for you. Could be with work, okay? And then we have a partnership. We have something that is growing, developing, and moving to the next level. And we're moving on, baby. And this is for sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Because we what? Listening for love. So this king of cups is coming through for you. They're offering some information that causes you to say, no, not today. Like, look, I see you. I recognize what you're trying to offer. But I don't really want to play this game with you, okay? The world wants you to know the king of pentacles. I do believe that there is an opportunity in a work situation where they will be re-signing a contract or signing a contract for you that is going to move you in a good direction because of the two kings. Especially in the springtime. Spring is going to be really good for you. Ace of Swords says something has to change. You're making a big change in the way that you're moving forward. The Ace of Pentacles says we're going to start over with the Page of Cups. We're going to take this offer. Why is the Two of Cups here? We're going to start talking. We're going to go out and we're going to engage in life again, Gemini. The Six of Wands says, it's okay if you don't have all the answers. It's okay that you don't know if this is your forever person, you know? It's about being in the moment. It's about you enjoying the moment and enjoying what's coming in to be patient and, and, and just and to just be. You know, I feel like in this situation for you, somebody is really wanting to offer you the world. I feel like the King of Pentacles wants to come in and say, hey, look, I have an offer for you. I have a partnership, a relationship, a contract, and it's going to be really good for you. But there's a big change that's going to have to happen in the way that you invest your time, your energy, and your heart. And are you willing and are you able and up for the challenge, all right? Because I do see you taking this partnership and I do see you going to the next level. I freaking love his face. He's like, ah, let's do it, all right? So that's a very beautiful energy coming in for you. I do strongly feel that the first, the third, the fourth, the seventh, and the 13th will be very important going into this month, okay? And again, I apologize about being late. <clears throat> it's just been really hard to... Um, Hard to breathe. <laughs> All right, let's get into our beautiful singles and ready to mingle. What do we got going on for our singles? Bless these cards. Show us the energy you have for our beautiful singles. What do we have? We have here an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Ew, ew, Aquarius. We got water sign up in the house. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And we got someone who don't know. They don't know if they like this. They don't know if they like that. But they know that they don't know. Okay? So just open up your heart and be open to whatever answers come through. All right? Remember, this is a general message. This is tarot. This is not your personal life. So if it does not fit, Boo Bear, it don't fit. But take the parts that do. All right? Air sign, what do you have for us? What is this message? The message is cutting something out. We are separated, we're stopping the pattern, and we're tired of the silent treatment. The water sign could be really missing you, reminiscing, learning from the past, looking at pictures, and missing their sexy Gemini. And the sexuality is about unconditional love and moving forward. You could also be questioning, like, when should I move physically in this relationship look there's no timetable it's not three dates and then you get to taste the greatness look everyone is different you know they're like oh if you give it up then you're you know, what no that's if that person feels that so i feel like in a situation where you're wanting to know like i'm really attracted to you i'm really feeling this way about you my boundary is this I'm ready, you know, like this is what I want to do, you go for it, right? And what does open up your heart have? 
you're you're really opening up your heart to making new memories you want to move forward I do think that you are still thinking of this person from the past I do think that they do have an effect on you however you really want something new and I do see you going out getting dressed up especially with La Dama showing up like I feel like you really want to put yourself out there and yes, I live in black. People are like, but you do your reads on different days. Yeah, I have like seven of these bodysuits. Because <laughs> I live in them, okay? They're comfy. All right, let's see here. The bottom of the read, seven of pentacles. So you really are looking at growth, development, and what can move forward. You are a little disillusioned with what is happening in your love life right now with the four of cups. You may not even be seeing the people who are admiring you, right? But you got love on your mind. We got the two of cups crowning your read. So that is very significant of you meeting someone, right? You're also trying to establish more of a foundation moving forward. And there's going to be a lot of communication and a lot of talk, maybe even a lot of quickies, okay? And yep, there they come, the Knight of Cups. There will be a romantic offer. There's something coming in, but there's something that you need to cut off. There's something that has to go. And and it, it is a, this area is in the middle of your read right now, this Four of Cups, and she's very disillusioned. She's unable to see that there's an offer of love because she's looking at all the times it's felt. And I, I do feel like that happens a lot for us when we're moving forward. It's time to look ahead. It's time to be excited with the Three of Wands, all right? We're going to clarify with the Tarot of Sexual Magic. I will be covering up some of the pictures because of all the censorship that YouTube does. It's ridiculous. Anyways, Seven of Pentacles. What do we have here with the Seven of Pentacles? What do you want us to know? The Hierophant. So I kind of feel like, Gemini, you're at this point where, like, look... If it's not going to grow into, like, a long-lasting relationship, it is what it is. You know, like, whatever. It's a fun time, a good time, but not a long time. All right? But I'm ready to move on. I'm ready to go to something good. So the higher fit with the fool. You, I almost feel like you've switched from, like, good time to long time. Okay? You want something that is going, you're going to grow with this individual. The three of wands with the six of wands. You want travel. You want love. You want passion. Six of Swords, sorry, and the Hangman. And you're willing to just wait around for it to happen. You're just like, look, I surrender. I surrender to this situation. I'm going to surrender for my love for this Two of Cups. I'm going to stop fighting it. And I'm going to release the past with the Six of Cups. So you could also be seeing the number 666, okay? You're cutting them out, Seven of Swords. You're cutting them out, and I do think they're watching you move forward and move on, but there's no more of a connection for you guys. You are moving forward. The Four of Wands wants you to know you're going to go for love, the Ace of Cups. You're going for love. You're, you're moving for a double eight of wands, lots of communication, lots of talking. The 18th could be important. April 18th could be important too, okay? I'm going to go over here to this other eight of wands is how you end the month with the lovers. So you're definitely moving on into a situation of making a better choice and going for your nine of cups. So this is like a lot of hopes and wishes coming through. The knight of cups wants you to know the eight of swords. Okay, so this is you and your new person enjoying themselves, and then there's this energy in the background that wants to come in. So the Eight of Swords, I'm telling you, you are probably going to be seeing a lot of 888, okay? With the moon. So the person from the past is really hiding something, okay? And this is only for those who had to hide about their relationship and do things in secret. That secret could come out this month okay and leave you very much upset about how it happens and especially if that is in a work situation or you go on a trip with this individual so I'm going to tell you that the person from the past who kind of had you in limbo or kind of had you not sure about where you stand, you really know where you stand. And so in that situation, it's going to be best to kind of cut ties with that so that you can allow this new energy to come in. So in this, I think if the Hierophant and the Fool is here telling you you've got to move on, and this is for anyone, okay, look, I'm going to tell you all something. Married men 
have more time than single men. I don't know how they have it, but like they have more time to do anything. So you could even be dealing with someone who is in a relationship or married and you're just done with that. You're like, look, if we're not going to grow, if you're not going to invest in me the way that you're investing in, in that, then I know where I stand and I'm good and I'm going. And you're going to cut that person completely off. Now, this could also be a situation where someone doesn't view marriage the way that you view it and you're cutting them off. You're going to go with something new. The Knight of Cups wants to like sweep you off of your feet. You knock me right off of my feet. I can't explain how your love makes me feel. No, I can't sing. I know. My nose is all stuffy and I'm like, I sound ridiculous. So let's check on this person. Let's check on this Knight of Cups. Give me a description of this Knight of Cups. What's going on with this Knight of Cups? How do they look? How do they look? What is going on, baby? We have Cancer Energy, very built, very stable. This person also have a, has a very big jawline, okay? A strong jaw. Square shoulders, well built, brick house, okay? Then we have the stork. We have long legs, long nose. The longer the nose, the longer the hose, okay? <coughs> I'm so sorry. Tall, slender, Gemini energy. New person, okay, now yeah, child. New energy coming in. This is not someone from the past. Okay, um, Leo, young, full of energy. They may be younger looking than what they are. Uh, this person is very curvy, very, I want to say like their lower body is very well endowed, if you know what I mean, okay? And they have nice hips, colored eyes, Capricorn energy. So here I have Cancer, Gemini, Leo, and Capricorn coming in for you. Now, let's get a few more clues. Clues are always good, right? Clues are good. How can we meet this individual? What do we need to know? What do we need to know? We have a tattoo. There's a significant tattoo on them. They have maybe multiple. I don't know, guys. I'm like, I really love neck tattoos. Now I know I'm like a counselor and um, I'm supposed to be professional and everything. I like them and I think if they're worn the right way, they still look professional. Anyways, they could have an interesting car like to Uber. The 24th could be important to you. I also feel like there's something about like if you guys are going out, I see like really tall, like, Okay, you see how the trees are there? But when the, when it was lined up here, it was like this. Like, all I see is, like, a lot of green stuff everywhere. So I feel like maybe, like, y'all are going to go out and there's going to be, like, a lot of trees and stuff. All right, let's see what the child has for you. The child is saying the star. They get very nervous around you. Okay, very, very nervous. <laughs> I'm going to cover up that word. It says food porn. But this is, like, this person eats very healthy. I Also, I'm telling you... There's something about the lower portion of this person's body. And I'm going to leave it at that. All right? And music is a big connection for you guys. You guys really get along. You have great music, similar music taste. There's a tattoo. I want to say, like, pay attention to the 1st, the 3rd, the 4th, the 7th, 13th, 17th, 18th, and 24th. Okay? This person wants to come in, and this is a new person. This is not, you know the person that broke your heart already but they want to come in and they want to get to know you they want to open they, they're like really into you and I almost want to say like you just maybe you're not feeling them because you're kind of still hung up on the past or whatever because it happens right it happens but they really like you okay so let's give you some guidance in this situation first let's see what the cats want you to know because yes, let's see what the cats say what they want for you to know <laughs> to all the haters, eh, okay, we're not dealing with y'all. Raise your hand if you know you're amazing. Okay, that is you, Gemini. One more, and your potential to succeed is infinite, especially in the love department. The question isn't who is going to let you, it's who is going to stop you. So I kind of feel like this person from the past is kind of seeing you live your best life, you're enjoying yourself, you're doing well for yourself, and um, they're jealous. And now they want to come back, and they can't. 
be prepared for the storm okay um there you are dealing with a broken heart there is something about a trip coming in for you and just know that your guides are watching over you and bringing you something there is someone who has their eye on you they're thinking about how they can communicate with you and how they can move on now whoever sent me this deck the vessel absolutely love them they don't show very well on the screen but i absolutely love them and thank you Storm warning. I do want to say with the house showing up and the house showed up earlier too, I do feel like there's something about paying attention to the foundation of your house, maybe like the structure of your house, because that's also the two main cards that you have. There's a lot of rebuilding and things going on. And if it isn't physically your house, it could be with your body and it could be with the way that you view love. Okay. Forgive yourself and forgive those who break your heart doesn't mean you take them back and doesn't mean that you make them great. You just say, I forgive you and I open space for something better. All right. And the angel of love says, I'm bringing you love. Damn it to hell. The thinking man wants you to know they're afraid. I do think that the person who wants to come back is afraid that they've lost you. And I think they have. I think they waited a little too long and you're pretty much done with that. All right. So, moving on to our beautiful couples. What's going on, couples? How are you? How you doing? How you doing? All right, what's going on with our couples? Let's see here. We have a liar, liar, pants on fire. Okay. And we have move on. Well, damn. Okay. And then we have something about the pets. Guys, guys, I have to share this with y'all. I'm getting a pet. I'm going to get him in December. I'm so excited. I'm getting a teacup schnauzer. He's going to be all black. I've already seen him. He was born on Halloween. He's my boo bear. Well, my kid's boo bear. But y'all know. Y'all know how Mexicans are. I didn't want a dog, but va a ser mi amor. Okay? It's going to be my baby, not theirs. Anyways, I'm excited. And trust your intuition because your intuition is on point. So let's see. What is up with this liar? Mm, I don't know about this liar. Be careful someone is sneaky. What is this about? Making memories, learning from the past. I think something from the past is going to be coming out. What are we moving on from? We're separated. We're not feeling it. They could be missing you. And then with the pets, um, there's a lot of playfulness. Maybe you're going to get a new pet. Maybe you're moving on. And then your intuition says sabotage, persistent, and repairing. Okay, so for me, I'm, I'm picking up, okay? And if this is not your relationship, you're super, super happy, then it's probably not for you. Skip to the all signs, okay? I get this vibe that um, Gemini... You've let this person in and out so many times, like you've given them so many opportunities and so many chances to get it together and pull it out and make it right, right? And they just can't. And I kind of feel like they keep effing up over and over and over again, and it's just like you're done. And I want to say you're going to see it in a picture. What is your person's story? What is your person's story? The Two of Swords. They're having to make a big decision. And one of their eyes is all messed up. Okay, so they saw something they shouldn't have. They missed the good old days. They want things to be better. And they miss the past with you. They miss what it used to be with. There's that 66, okay? Six of Cups are like, man, it used to be so good. What was I thinking? How's your person acting? Like the will. Oh, there's an and strength. The wheel and strength came out. I kind of feel like they're willing to stick around, but like they're trapping you. Like they're trying to keep you eek. Okay, like they're trying to stronghold you. Okay. What comes between y'all is justice and it ends in the six of pentacles. Something could have happened around Halloween and Libra season, to be honest. And you're walking away. Um, somebody's going to walk away from this situation. I don't know how, but you're going to walk away, okay? So let's, let, let's get into it, okay? The Two of Swords. The Two of Swords by the Six of Swords, they have to make a decision on how they're going to move forward. The Two of Swords with the Three of Wands, give me more, 
and the sun okay so for me like they kind of see you as like their success like it's a yes like yeah i know that you're who i want to be with i get that why is the six of swords on their mind the ace of cups they love you like they're like i love you i don't understand you are my world you're everything six of cups with the Knight of Cups, and they're like, I choose you, I picked you, I picked you out of everybody. Um, we have a great time together. We're always talking, we can hang out, it's the best. You are my love, the Two of Cups. You're everything I want, need, and desire. And then I have the tower at the bottom of the deck. So something happened. What is the wheel about? Oh, that's too many cards. What is the wheel about? I'm telling you, you found something out, they found something out, and it is affecting the home front with the four of wands. It's, it's just not what it used to be. It's like something happened, right? What is justice about? The queen of swords. I feel like you're just kind of at this point, like, it is what it is. You did what you did, and you did it behind my back, and I don't, I have to cover these things. There's the devil, okay, and he has like an interesting rutabaga in his hand. I don't like what you did in the dark. I don't like those things that you're hiding from me, and I don't like those behaviors, which leaves you at the seven of swords. Almost like you got in the Six of Cups. Like you know you have to make this choice and this decision because this person isn't meeting you where they need to meet you. Six of Pentacles and you show them the door. There's the door, bitch. <laughs> you're like, I'm done. Eight of Cups. And you're going to stand strong as an empress. And they're going to beg. They will beg. And then they will get hostile, okay? So I think at this point, whoever's in this situation, it is up to you on how you want to move forward. Um, it's interesting because I feel like this isn't the first rodeo, as they say. I'm looking over here and I backstabber. So I do feel like this person is like has done this before. If their person could talk, what would they say? I know that we have a soul connection. I've been watching your socials and admiring your pictures. I want to reach out but don't know how. And I'm afraid that I've lost you forever. And so I kind of feel like this person this month makes a big mistake. Okay? Um, if they have not already. And it is something that has to deal with the devil energy. So I'm going to go to the devil energy and I'm going to ask what is the devil energy about? I have the two of wands. The hierophant. The King of Pentacles, and overall the Emperor. So this individual is one of those people who likes to have their cake and eat it too, okay? And this person is like, they play good guy, bad guy a lot. Like, they're like, but I'm the best, you know? Like, I would never do that to you. Look at all these things that I've done for you. I'm so good. I'm so good. Um... There's a weird energy. You could also be dealing with the sign of Capricorn. Capricorn or heavy Aries. But this energy is just not, um, it's not flowing for you. You, There's going to be some of y'all who decide to take a step back. That was a very odd read because I feel like this person feels like, yeah, it's destiny. We're supposed to be together. But then when justice happens and you see, you see this person who's actually doing the devil the devil's work or the behavior of the devil and portraying themselves as the um, hierophant with the king of pentacles, you're like, wait a minute, sir, this doesn't match. This isn't okay. And I feel like you're going to be making some major decisions, okay? I want to look at the Lenormand and I want to see if there's anything um, that you don't see coming and then we'll get some... Um, oracle messages for you okay we have the house stability we have a lot of conversations in the house a lot of talk going on we have a new opportunity there's a lot of birds here so i'm going to say there's a lot of messages coming in for you so this new conversation 
that's coming in is going to highlight or bring something to awareness about a major ending. There is a major ending, but there is something new coming to this situation, new information, something new that is going to cause a major ending, okay? Remember, if that's not your read, it's not your read, boo, okay? Don't get mad at me. I'm just telling you what the cards say. All right, let's see here. Let's get you some guidance. How can they move with this energy? What is the energy here? How can they move with this energy? We have your solar plexus. Confidence is needed. I also feel like with that card, like with the solar plexus card, um, you're going to want to really pay attention to your digestive system, okay? Learn to appreciate yourself more. And then there's that broken heart. And overall, the angel of balance is coming in. And so that's a beautiful energy of everything being taken care of. Okay? Boy, these cards just flew out. Okay, we have move on with the third chakra. Have the confidence. No when to hold them. No when to fold them. All right, Kenny Rogers. Let's, let's know what we need to do, okay? Appreciate the change. And the heartbreak will be heal, begin to heal, okay? The angel of balance said, we're looking at the structure. So we need to look at the foundation. That is what we need to look at. All right, that's what I have for you couples. We are going to move on into all signs. So let me move this up. Okay, we're going to be using the Babylonian tarot, baby. Yes, there are reversals. We are going from Aries to Pisces here. And we have here the Queen of Swords with the Seven of Wands reversed. Um, you kind of don't want to have to make this decision, but you know you, you're going to. Gemini, you ain't, you ain't, you Gemini. I'm a Gemini rising. My cutoff game is intense, okay? I walk by you in the grocery store. We could have been together for four years, and I will act like I don't even know you. Ain't nothing to be proud of because you hurt me, but I keeps it moving. All right, let's see. Here you are. You are ready to learn new skills, Gemini. And Aries is having some financial issues or some difficulties with what was said. You are tired of crying over spilled milk. And they are hoping for a better future. Your lucky day is the 16th. I also want to say that you've been seeing the number 555. I want to pull a random card for you. You need to make healthier choices. All right. You are the devil. <laughs> what would you be doing, Gemini? And Taurus says, bring me some of that juicy, juicy junk. I got my magic stick. You are like a little take it easy, my friend. And they're like, ooh, they're like your enemy. Because um, Lamatsu and, and um, Pazuzu are damn dirty enemies in this deck. Um, I also feel like you guys are probably have a very physical relationship. Very, very physical relationship. All right. And, and you think you're in love. All right. You're like, ooh, I love this. The third was important. Here you are as the Hierophant. You are moving through this using your higher knowledge. And Gemini, the other uh, Taurus, Gemini, wants to make some big changes. They're like, look, things really need to change. And both of y'all are majors. So in this situation where you're the Hermit, you might be a little bit more reserved than the other Gemini. Um, you're not sure if they're meeting you like halfway with something. And they're like, look, I want to go all the way into this. I, wanna, I want to deposit my coins in your bank. The 14th could be important. You don't want to talk about it. You don't want to be about it. And Cancer said, I'm going to make my choice with or without you. You're still hurt. You're not as hurt as you thought you were going to be, but you're hurt. And Cancer's trying to take control of this situation. Your lucky day was the fifth. The Three of Cups is where you're at. You're disillusioned. You don't feel like this is moving in the right direction. And Leo is the Queen of Pentacles. I want to say Leo's been having a lot of intense dreams about you and they want to move forward. And they're like, I can help you. You're not feeling them. You're not sure you want to do this. And Leo is like, please, let me help you. I think Leo is getting on your nerves. <laughs> the fifth could be important. The Ten of Pentacles is reversed. We're not friends anymore. We're not the full package anymore. And Virgo said, I don't even care. I don't want to talk about it. 
You was doing a little song. You was doing a little tricky stuff over there, baby. You was all up in them streets having a good time. And they're trying to heal from it, okay? Uh, the 14th could be important. Here you are as the magician. You are in full control. And Libra says, I want a um, non-traditional relationship. There's a lot of miscommunication going on between you guys. And they just really love having sex with you, okay? They think that, you know, we just have sex. It's great. The fourth could be important. The six of wands is coming in for you. And Scorpio is tired of fighting. There's a lot of miscommunication going on with the seven of swords. And also a lot of, like, behaviors coming to light. But they freaking love you. And they want to keep going at it. They're just like, look, you win. You win. The 18th is important. You're tired of working on it, and Sagittarius said, F it, we don't even need to live together. You're like, look, you don't want to change? And then they're like, but I got the money, okay? So I feel like they try to use money as a weapon with you, okay? Sag is being sneaky. The fourth could be important. You are Vera ready and communicating, okay? And Capricorn is tired of praying. You are feeling overwhelmed, and they feel attacked. And what are they praying about? Or what are they not listening to? They know that they need to move on to the next phase in the relationship, but they don't know how to do it. Okay? So I feel like they're cheating you on that. Here you are stuck in the past, and Aquarius is also stuck with the Seven of Pentacles, but you have a lot of love for this situation, and they keep messing up. The Twelfth could be important. Here you are as the Two of Pentacles. You don't really know how to change the situation. And Pisces is not invested. You are like, wait a minute. I want to create something with you. And they said, I'm not even sure what I want anymore. So there's like, we're kind of stuck at this situation. And the fifth could be very important. That's what I have for you, Gemini. I hope you have a beautiful month. Remember, come hang out with me on Instagram and be blessed.